up, Tim? Hey, Danny. I heard you got close. Yeah. I, I got close. We're going to get closer today. Hell yeah. Let's do that. Today. Closer today. That's the goal. You ever uh, you ever shot an elk before? No. I don't think so. No, I just never took the opportunity. I told him it's, we're going to end this thing today. This well, we'll be doing elk hunting today. So we're going to duck hunt Oxen. tomorrow? Yeah, I can duck hunt tomorrow. We'll clean this thing up today, so to speak. <laughs> We're gonna see. Hey, they're out there. I don't wanna say too much on camera. Let anybody know where they are. They're out there. <laughs> Danny, uh, gonna break his camera. Danny, make sure you don't get the tanner in any of my phones, please. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's, 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 he's scary. Hustling. He's hustling to get that show. Gotta get the stars to navigate. <laughs> You're gonna shine that light right in our face too, watch. Ow, it hurts. Uh, it does. It hurts. This is as good a slice as any. <laughs> I gotta feel it. Are, are you filming me right now? Will you please stop that? <laughs> it's not the time. Yeah, if you can tell it's still morning time. I left my truck and drive <laughs> up there. Jesus! I'm surprised it didn't fucking roll off the hill. <laughs> Older than a goddamn brick out here. The way Jim shoots, you're gonna need them. All right, Dan. He's got three of my bullets in his pocket, dude. I'm gonna crown ten bullets on him. <laughs> All right. I guess we're ready to go. So we just spotted the uh, first group of bulls. That middle one's not bad either. Look. Oh, yeah. This looks like a nice little studly group. Yeah. It looks like they're decent. There was a group of three. I can't see the third one right now, but the two are two are nice. Kind of tough to tell exactly what they are at the moment, but as the sun comes up a little better, we'll we'll be able to see. It's a nice bull. So yeah, actually there's like easily a hundred a hundred elk. Lots of bulls that we're looking at now. It's a little grainy. It's still really early, so hard to tell, but definitely some good frames. Some good frames in there. Um, they're on private, but they aren't far on to private, so we'll see. I think there's definitely some shooters. That one little group we saw right away looked really good. It's pretty sweet. There's two bulls fighting right now. Another bull bedded to the right of them. It's pretty awesome. Find another group? Yeah. Try not to get tunnel vision, you know? Yeah. That's something that I've, past few years, I've really tried to focus on not focusing on one thing, you know? Is that like a life lesson or just a... Yeah, you know. Broad picture. Not just the one yeah. goal. Oh, you're, you're feeling, trying to get me all philosophical? <laughs> Don't focus on just one thing. Keep, Keep your goals in sight. But, you know, you got you to have your little side quests here and there, you know. spotted in a killable spot. Really? Yeah. Are those killable? Yeah. They're heading they're heading off of private right now towards public ground. Shooters. The okay. shooters. One's a shooter for sure I think. You think that one on the right big and one on the inside? I think the right. one on the left inside. It's a little hard to tell right with the phone scope. Yeah. There's a lot of tracers going too. Mm -hmm. But a couple of them look like they're pretty good. Um but I think we just gotta go find that, and I know how to go right back in there on the on them. Yeah. We, we were down there last night. Yeah. Call him. I'm using my phone. Am I excited? I'm just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna answer. <laughs> He's not gonna answer. What about The one looks really wide. Maybe they're. Uh... Maybe they're going to shoot one. Oh, there's more elk. Weird. Oh, those are signs. Huh. <laughs> Never mind. You know what sucks about this? What? Is there's been trucks driving around this spot. That for one? For the past two days. And they're about 
80 yards off the highway on public ground. <laughs> Just waiting for somebody to drive, drive by and shoot him. I'm looking for the highway going, God, where's the highway? Where's the highway? And I'm like, and then I see that sign right there. It's literally right by him. It's like, oh. Right next to him. Oh, you know what? What? Those are two guys. Shut up. Yeah. Maybe it's Matt and... They're coming towards them? Yeah, they're walking on. They're they're working on them bulls. There's like a there's a uh, like a rock butte. Oh. And they're working around this side, but the bulls are going like this. And they're coming oh. this way. But maybe it is Matt and Jim. That might be them. That might be the. Should we drive down there? Hold on, hold on. I never heard it, uh -uh. but that's. I mean, that's four miles yeah. away. That's got to be them. Dude. I really hope it is, dude. And if not, we're gonna go. To... That's them, I bet. Did you just? Did you guys just shoot that bull? Come on over here. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, we just <laughs> we, 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 we watched it happen. We filmed it happen from up here. All right, we're coming, dude. Hell yeah, we're coming. That was them. That was them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, <he's big>. <laughs> <laughs> Touch him in the eyeball one time, make sure you don't get up and gouge me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, put your hands on the one time. <laughs> oh man. That's it, we go home now. We go <laughs> beer. We drink 25 beers. It was so funny. We saw. Where were you? We were way up there on the. There, we were way up there on the shelf, dude. And we saw him when we were trying to call him. We like, damn it, he's not answering. God, we I saw two guys. You and I was just like, I texted you. I said, four bulls ready to die when you guys are. Bro, where are you? We were sitting in the truck, and they've crossed over that sign right yeah. there. I watched them cross the highway. I know. We're like trying to get right, but we couldn't move because they were so close. We didn't know you so were I, on it. We didn't know you were on them until we couldn't see your you truck. About to shoot oh, you couldn't see my oh, truck. I, we, we saw the bulls. They. Uh, I, I told Danny. I was just like, they're leaving private, going on. You were like, they're right, right there. They should yeah. be right there. I'll, and, and I was like, started calling you to tell you like where they were. And then all of a sudden, the bulls started moving behind that butte right there. And then I saw you guys walking, oh, and I was like, shit. So they there's, went over that guys, little ledge right, right there. there. Like, oh, we're f They went over that ledge and went down, and we were standing at the truck. And as soon as they got down, I said, Jimmy, get on those rocks right there. So we got on those rocks, and we had them at like 300, but they were kind of like quarter, and they still knew something was up from the truck. And they went around that far set of rocks, and I could see their antlers go. Yeah. And our wind was just pushing hard that way. So we kind of like got this way 20 yards, got set up on those rocks. As soon as I got on those rocks, I took your gun, I set it up. I said, Jim, they're 100 yards away. He said, that's too far. I can't shoot that far. I said, no, 100. He said, 100? <laughs> he thought I said 1,000. I was like, no, I could see their breath. They're right here. So I like set your gun up, put my hat on it, got it all right. He crawled up. And then they kind of knew something was going on. And the bigger one kind of like turned and kind of started walking away. So that one was standing broadside like 90 yards. Jimmy dropped his ass. We watched it drop. Didn't go 20. 
big go to. <laughs> yeah. I went, oh, one of them dropped. And they, like, <laughs> all ran off. they all ran and then we're standing there. Where's he at? He's I'm looking over here. Where? Over here to the right. 150 yards away. Oh, he's over there. He lost. All right. Got an elk this morning. Feels real good. It's chilly out here, but it was worth the cold. Yes, sir. Hey. You betcha. You bet. We were sitting in the truck and I was glassing and I saw something in the corner of my eye. And here comes an elk coming across the road. Yeah, and I said, man, there's an elk coming across the road behind us. And then here comes four more right behind him. And they jumped the fence out in front of us. Matt says, get out. I said, I can't. They're so close, I can't. I'm going to open the door and swing it. And they're going to book. They were that close. They were freaking 60 yards, 70 yards. I don't know. It's like, holy sh. So we finally got out, got set up, and they moved on over. They were right over in here. They went over and dropped down. And we didn't see him again. So, like, okay, let's go. And we got up to 100 yards of the suckers. That's awesome, Jim. Oh my gosh. They went over in there and found a little pocket, a little hole, and said, let's, let's, have, let's hang out here, boys. And they were hanging out there. Guns. This is the bed. This thing. They don't like that 300. They don't like that 300. Oh, where's the magazine? I got it. At? You got it? Yeah. They don't like it. It, it nailed him. It he jumps up he lost his back legs and kind of tried to stand up stand up we watched him watched him i was ready for another again no didn't have to he was he was really faltering and i just said well i just held and waited and waited and then finally he went down all the way he his horn moved back and forth for a little bit like he's you know almost out he has got a body on him. You won't believe it's big. Yeah. You're fatter than me. <laughs> this son of a gun is a bad ass thing. Well, I crawled up on some we crawled up on some rocks. And Tim, I'm not used to your scope. Yeah. You know, in my scope I can stay back. But your scope does funny things, you know, little black things come around. I had to get up there and I finally got up there and I said, Oh, that's it. There's there's the ticket right there and I got on it. I didn't feel anything. It didn't kick me or nothing. It just the it's, only thing is five degrees out here. I can't feel nothing either. Cold. Bring Jimmy a chair because you know he's going to sit and watch his cut. <laughs> Come on, I've done it before. Bring your cookies. Bring your cookies. Serious? I know you want them. No, I know you want them, you cookie eater. You know, technology really helps uh, today. I'm being an old timer. and I tell people I used to send up smoke signals to my friends. Well, that was a joke. But... Uh, these new phones, Matt's got one, got a pin, just tells you right where the thing is. I don't know anything about that stuff, Danny. Well, you don't need to. Don't need to. Not with you guys, you all have them. Well, I, I got up, coming up behind Matt, of course he walks 10 times faster than I do. And uh, of course I'm tripping over rocks and everything, dragging my feet. And we get up and he says, they're behind those rocks. And I'm not quite up to the edge of our rocks yet to see. Mm -hmm. And he pulls my hat up and says, they're right there. I said, what, 400 yards, those rocks? He pulls my hat up and says, 100 yards, those rocks. I didn't see the rocks he was talking about. So I scooted on up and I said, there they were. It's like, okay, this is what I want. I'll take a 100 yard shot. Okay, here, here, here. You coyote, you. He's, he's a coyote. Okay, the man wants me to talk. This is the interview. Probably my first and last elk. I'm too old to do this. Not unless I got these. <laughs> I'm old enough, I'm 75. That's what they wanted to hear. I'll need a helicopter on my next uh, bull. But uh, anyhow, we came over those rocks right over there and here they stood. 100 or so yards away. I uh, had my sights on the first one but was angling away and he was, the, he was the jumpy one. He was moving his head back and forth. So I went uphill to this guy and he was standing broadside watching the other guy. In fact, the other two were behind this one looking at the first guy. <laughs> I didn't want to wait, Tanner. I said, kaboom. And I got right in the middle of him and let it rip. And that gun took it down. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice gun. 
He's one of the bulls we were watching last night in that field. I, the one, one of the ones I saw. I saw. Doubt it at all. Yeah. They use that field and pop right over. Oh, you think so? <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? Count the horns: one, two, three, four, five, five six. One, two, three, four, five, Yeet. six. That's we got a little break off here. We don't know what happened there. He's fighting. Four bulls together. This bed's all out through this stuff. They're going over here laying down. Maybe not yet. Man, it was chilly when we got out of the truck. They've been using this though, haven't they? You know, the old man said, geez, do you want to go after, do we want to go after these or wait for another one to pass the truck? <laughs> I kept looking back like more were coming. Oh, she, good job. <laughs> 